You can have all the rules, safety systems and procedures in the world. But when it comes down to it, it means very little if it's not being done at the job end. When you go to do a job, there's often a lot going on, and a lot to consider to keep yourself and those around you safe. With other work groups, live plant, mobile equipment, an ever-changing environment, working with new people, hot weather, noise, it can be hard to be sure you have thought of everything to keep yourself safe. Because one aspect of the job has changed, we need to go back to the equipment, people and planning. How has a change affected the other three elements? Remember, it only takes a small change to make a big difference to whether or not your job can be done safely. Say another work group needs to work in your area, like this crane lift. The crew goes through the safe system of work. They work out that the crane equipment will be affected by the other work group. To ensure everyone is aware of the changes to the task, they go back to the JHA to ensure the changes are part of their planning. To reassess the hazards, which now include the other work group. Relating this back to the safe system of work, the change of the launch day to a cold morning was a real red flag to go over the other three elements. NASA failed to adequately plan for a launch in sub-zero conditions. A failure of reporting hazards to the decision makers about the o-ring and seal issues and ignoring warnings about the seals prior to launching prompted a major overhaul in the culture of the space program's people. So ultimately, it was the equipment that failed. All the areas of the safe system of work failed in themselves and failed to interlink with each other. And the result was a tragedy. Thank you.